Finally, I'm going to talk about our trailer. Our second post down, number one, don't be on top of the basketball. A lot of times you see those guys becoming lazy. I want them sprinting. I want them sprinting. So if Chris is my trailer, come on back, Chris. And Chris has kept the ball in the middle of the third of the floor. He's going to sprint down, and he's eventually going to set what we call our drag screen, which is a ball screen in transition. And notice now, with our team at Xavier this year, we're keeping the basketball in our point guard's hands a whole lot. I don't want him to advance the ball up the floor, because if he advances the ball up the floor, and he cuts through, he threw it to Alex, and he cuts through, now Alex is going to be faced with using a drag screen. I only want to advance the ball up the floor to capable ball handlers put our guys in good positions. Okay? Chris has kept the ball here. Here comes his teammate Chris. I'm going to be you for one second, Chris. I'm going to go ahead and sprint. You got to do your job and you got to get separation on that ball handler. If he's up in your stuff and he's backing you to half court, it makes my job a lot more difficult. So you may take a couple dribbles, boom, stunt, get him to back off of you, gives me a great ability to really get a good angle on your defenders. Because a lot of times, a defender on the ball in transition is more comfortable to go quickly under the screen rather than over it. And we want to do a, the job that makes that defender go over, or at least makes him run into the screen. Chris comes down, boom, he bumps his defender back, and I'm going to come in, I'm going to take that proper angle. I may even be twisted a little bit so that this defender has a tougher time of going under. As he comes off, I roll hard. I don't stop and sort of look for the basketball. I roll to the rim. Now, some teams have you, some coaches believe, and they want the traditional open up, never lose sight of the basketball roll, come off, just like this. Some coaches will teach what they call tap and go. Some of your better athletes, where as soon as they set it, they don't even worry about it, they roll it to the rim. Again, and you as a coach have to determine that kid that loses sight of the basketball, if Chris makes a quick pass, does he have the ability to catch it like fly papers on his hands and lay it in, or is it hitting him in the face and he can't orient himself? But either way, however you have him rolling, you have different players roll different ways, he has to get to the rim quickly. Put so much pressure on the defense. Marquis, you're about 15, 17 feet up. Chris, you're setting the drag screen. You've got D in shooting range. He comes off, and I always want my guards taking two dribbles. The more you get bounced to half court, half court, the more average you are, and the more you don't put pressure on the defense for us. 